Good morning guys, <laughs> welcome back to Drunkle, back to another video, and in today's video we're pretty much getting ready to head off to LA, I mean we're, I mean, we're not going to be heading out today, we're going to be heading out tomorrow, we have so many things we have to get ready, um, like get a trailer, we're going to have to uh, get the M5 on the trailer somehow, I'm going to be renting it a day in advance, and then uh, taking it uh, tomorrow, so we just want to make sure everything gets situated today, because we already booked hotel nights down there, it's just going to cost a lot of money if anything, uh, you know, any mishaps happen tomorrow, so we just want everything Thing to go smooth especially considering we want this m5 to be on the road as soon as possible the truck as of right now the only thing i want to do on it today is just get some spark plugs in there it, the fuel economy is not the greatest i want to get a truck to even get a cabin air filter some spark plugs see if that will improve it you guys let me know down below if you guys have any trucks and you guys are also having terrible fuel economy i mean i have an ecoboost f-150 2014 and for some reason i'm getting a 13 mpg in the city and i'm getting like 14.5 highway which is just like i mean might as well just have a v8 at that point so let me know down below if you guys want any information about that. Well, we do have some boxes, guys. We have this box right here, which is the M5 Black Gloss Grill. So we finally got some grills in for the car. And this one right here is a full polishing kit, which we're going to be using for the 135 and the M5. So that's going to be pretty awesome. So yeah, let's just go ahead right now, head down to U-Haul and get this trailer because we have so much other things we got to get. I mean, we just, we have to get ready. I mean, I'm just so excited. I'm just, honestly, I'm super excited to head down back to Irvine. I love Irvine. It's such a beautiful area. And finally get this M5 loaded up and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully fixed. My biggest fear, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, is getting the clutch of flywheel replaced and then they'll probably say, hey, you need a starter too, replace the starter. They say, oh, you need a new crankshaft sensor, replace the crankshaft sensor, and then after all of that, the engine seized. Like that would be absolutely the worst or some kind of like engine, major engine issue or low compression or something because that would be absolutely terrible. Imagine trying to fix everything with the transmission, paying for this entire trip and then the engine shot and then, you know, those engines go for like $8,000, which is just crazy. So wish me luck, guys. Smash that like button to support the channel. But yeah, that's what it is. Let's go ahead and get ready and uh, head out to you all. Always think of you when spring comes. Like it's something in the air at the time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time Met you on a Friday Halfway out at the door of the club Playing soul on the weekends Stayed in bed till Wednesday All right, guys, we had the trailer hooked up and everything. And as we're about to head out, unfortunately, um, the, the trailer lights wasn't working. But the guys here at this U-Haul, the owner, I think he's the owner, right? Him and his wife, I believe. The uh, uh, older couple, but very nice people. They had the patience to help me figure out what fuse it was, which was really, really, really nice of them. So huge shout out to them. I, we went through all the fuses. I actually went home. I swapped out two of the fuses. He actually went home, tried to figure it out. I, I thought I fixed it. I came back. They plugged the trailer again, no lights. And then we found fuse 77. I looked close into it and you can see it's blown out. So perfect. We found the fuse that's blown. Uh, we're gonna head down right now to AutoZone, hopefully just get that fuse and we should be good to go. And then we'll come back here and hopefully get the trailer. So anywho, that is awesome. Just got the trailer, boys. Woo! Let's do it. Let's load her up.
making a little pit stop at Sam's Club. Just gonna eat today and uh, I'll probably catch you guys tomorrow. I don't think we're gonna do anything else today. But thankfully, honestly, I'm super happy we got the trailer today because of that little hiccup now with the little fuse thing. We got that sorted. And then right after that, obviously, now we got the, the, the car on the trailer, which is perfect. So tomorrow, we should be just ready to head down to LA and uh, should be a little fun drive, you think? I hope so too. It's gonna be a long drive, but uh, wish us luck. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to uh, another day, right? Because the same video. <laughs> So we woke up this morning, we got the trailer loaded, everything ready the previous day, so we have no hiccups today. And I think either the trailer cut the power, like literally drained the battery or something, or maybe even the cooler, maybe the cooler drained the battery. So one or the other. Um, so anyway, let me show you guys what happened. Nothing, okay? So I literally woke up to that. I woke up and I was trying to unlock the doors. I'm like, nope, nothing, no power. I was like, oh my God. And I called my brother, he's gonna be coming over from like a 30 minute drive, so we're gonna be killing another 30 minutes. I can't even get my girl's car out of the driveway because we're blocking the driveway. But then I remembered we have the Audu jumper pack. They're not sponsoring this video, but I mean, hey, if this works, mm. I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate them. Let's, Let's see if it so works first. Hook this up and uh, hope for the best here. Yeah, so I think it's connected. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Oh, actually, we're <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> call the out tell them not to go. Special shout out to Audu. I'm gonna be linking their product down below for literally saving the day. Guys, you special shout out to Audu for saving the day. Let's head out and hopefully, hopefully, we'll get there in a promising time. Pit stop about two, about two and a half hours in. We still got about another three and a half hours to go, but it is breakfast time. It is officially 9, 10 a.m. So uh, yeah, we need some breakfast. But the M5 so far so good. It's been making a year, no issues. Thankfully, we have no issues with this trailer or the car moving at all. The winds are pretty good today, so I'm pretty happy with everything and how it's been going so far. But yeah, we are kind of hungry. I mean, not my girl so much, but I'm kind of hungry. So let's get ahead. So let's go ahead and head into Taco Bell. They have McDonald's, but uh, don't really about McDonald's. Let's head into Taco Bell. See if they have any breakfast sandwiches. Or I mean burritos. Sheesh! I mean, we're here, might as well get some more gas and then uh, head on our journey. Alright guys, temperatures are counting in a little bit high. Online it's saying if it hits 240, you're gonna have to start having transmission issues. I don't know if I'm just being a little bit too safe right here, but I'm gonna try to play it safe. The mountain's really going upwards and we're towing over 6,000 pounds. So uh, I think we're gonna try to take it a little easy, wait for these temperatures to drop, just wait for everything to cool down, and then we'll go ahead and continue on our journey. Alright guys, it did drop down a little bit. Engine temps are back to pretty good shape. Don't actually turn off your car while you're resting. If the temperatures are high, actually leave the car on because the fans kick in, actually cools that down. And also I noticed the trans temperature started going down as I left the car on. So don't turn it off, just have it parked. I'm just chilling now. You know, this is the first time experience. I mean, this temperatures are still kind of high. It was at almost, it was at 230. So as long as they're kind of running between 200 and 210, I, I think we should be good. But at the same time, I think I'm gonna get some new transmission fluids. It's a must.
Six hours later, guys. SSR performance. Oh my god. And the M5 is still here. I didn't lose it. Don't worry. Woo! Oh, buddy. Let me go ahead and get this thumbnail real quick and then I'll go ahead and talk to them. <laughs> guys, SSR is just killing it. Look at that. This is their auto body shop that they recently opened up and they've just been absolutely killing it with all the rebuilds. I've been following up on their Instagram and then uh, obviously these are all the cars here for the, the mechanical work. So, uh, my god, crazy stuff here. I gotta figure out where, <laughs> where I could put this hoop to. <laughs> Guys, so we just dropped off the car, dropped off the trailer. Now we officially released all the stress that was on the truck and all the stress that was on my back. That was actually very stressful towing, uh, you know, a 4,000 4, pound car and a 2,000 pound trailer on this truck, especially when it started overheating. Not really overheating, but like the temperature started getting really high. And uh, we did some research about temperatures before the drive and that was a little too high. We saw a couple of the trucks also pull over on the side of the road. I think it was just kind of super hot up there or something. And then also considering the incline and everything. So Long story short, anywho, everything's gravy in the Navy. At this point, let's just get something to eat because we are starving. This is the next morning. So yes, we are just chilling down here. Probably just gonna enjoy the area. I decided to spend an extra night here just because like we already drove basically eight hours. I know the trip said only, we started six hours and then we recorded showing you guys five hours. I mean, it was like five hours and 50 minutes, then we showed you guys at five hours. But long story short, it was nowhere near that time frame. It ended up being eight hours because uh, typically when the navigation um, you know, records the time, it's basically assuming you're gonna be driving the speed limit, which is 65 to 70 on those highways. And uh, we were going literally 50 to 55 because first off, when I was going 60, 65, um, it was really windy and it, I just didn't feel safe. It was the first time really towing. So it was just a first time experience. And then second thing, the fuel economy was absolutely terrible. So I was like, you know what? I gotta get it down a little bit. Just 50, cruise at 50 on the right lane. Uh, pretty much was going as fast as like, you know, the big old semi trucks. So I was just pretty much going behind them the entire time. And it took us eight hours, end of the day, to get to here. It's been a long trip here. I could have also taken the trailer back, but I was like, you know what? Kind of want to just drop off the trailer here, pay the fee to drop off the trailer. And we're just going to be riding back in the truck. So hopefully everything's gravy in the Navy. And hopefully SSR Performance can figure out and fix everything that's wrong with the E60 M5. So we're going to be trying to do the rod bearings. And we're going to be trying to do a flyway and uh, a flywheel and clutch. And anything else that's wrong with it in terms of leaks, anything at all. Any Vanos lines that need to be replaced. Any like anything at all that needs to be replaced. We're going to try to get it done right then and there. But first things first, we're going to try to replace the flywheel and clutch. And if the car starts up, then we'll continue off with the rod bearings. If it doesn't start up or they find out there's like an engine issue, then obviously we're gonna hold off on the rod bearings and try to figure out if we can fix it or what's gonna happen exactly. So guys, please pray for me down below. Huge special shout out to FCP Europe for partnering in this video and huge special shout out to SSR Performance for working with us in this video. But without further ado, that's gonna conclude this video. I am attending a huge, huge, huge car meet in the end of uh, next month, actually mid next month. If you guys know one of my biggest partners on this channel, yeah, I'm attending their meets in the other side of the United States. So so it's gonna be pretty fun. We're flying out there. Gonna have a good time. Gonna be meeting some of you guys. I'm gonna be announcing what that event is in the next video. But again, make sure to smash the like button if you guys enjoyed this video. Without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.